So, what is the difference between balance and centeredness? People often use those two interchangeably, and I think there's a pretty significant difference between the two. And there's one, they're, they're both good things, but there's one that I think is a little more versatile, and I want to explain that to you. So I want to think about centeredness first. People want to be centered, and centered is sort of in the middle. It's, it's grounded. It's peaceful. If you imagine on a tightrope or a balance beam, centeredness is being on the center. And balance is actually something pretty different. Balance is often reaching out broadly. Balance is achieved by having something that extends way off that way and way off this way. So if you think about it, they're both creating a certain version of stability, but they're somewhat different. Now, if you were centered and you're standing on that balance beam, one of the challenges with centeredness is it's easy to push you off balance. If you go up to someone who's standing on a balance beam, you just push them over. Now, if you add the weight that reaches out farther to both sides, it's a lot harder to push you off center when you're balanced. So see how they're different? Centeredness is achieved if whatever spectrum we're talking about, centeredness is achieved by being in the middle. Less like that extreme, less like that extreme, more in the middle. And balance is created by reaching out to the extremes. That's why there's such different concepts. So when you look at communication and you look at the different circumstances you face, high pressure communications, sales pitches, negotiating, leadership, getting everybody on the same page, facilitating all of these things, centeredness is very good and it does one thing, whereas balance is good and does different things. Centeredness is calmer. It's less likely to create disruption. Now, Balance is literally something different. If your presence is balanced, you're not so much in the middle. You're at both ends. And when you're at both ends of the spectrum, what you get is something a little different. You get more potential to influence. If your balance is centered, you're better at creating peace, safety, and an environment for consensus. If you're balanced, you have the extremes that allow you, or these extremes, different degrees of extremes that allow you ha to have more persuasion. So I use balance to get persuasion. I use centeredness to get consensus. And I will shift between those. I tend to balance with two ingredients. I tend to be on one side dead serious and on another side kind of playful, dead serious and playful. I create a spectrum and I have uh, influence because I leverage that presence power. It's hard to inspire people from centered. Centered is calm. Centered comes across sometimes as a little uh, disinterested or, or a little flat, whereas the engagement, the power of inspiration comes from balance. You can also balance in a lot of different ways. I tend to balance two basic forces when I work with people. I balance the yin and the yang. The yin is all the soft stuff, the soft skills, the sensitive stuff, the emotion, the inspiration. The yang stuff is the strength, the confidence, the, uh, the power. And I want to come across very powerful and sensitive, command and nurture. I talk about this all the time, the command and nurture vibe. It is a balance. It is not centeredness. It is a balance that covers the two. I tend to be mostly the in stuff. I'm way more the soft skills. I'm way more the emotion. I'm way more the sensitivity and the nurture. But boom, I balance with a heavy weight of command. So as you look at your own presence, think where you feel safest and see how you can push around the boundaries to get both, which is ultimately the goal. When you want to pull people together and get consensus, when you don't want to ruffle the feathers or rock the boat, centeredness is what you want. But when you want to inspire, you have to reach out more to the extremes. If you only have one extreme, you tip. 
But if you look out both directions and have a certain amount of command and a certain amount of nurture, then you've got your yin and yang balance. And together, those things will give you more influence.